Well, hello, this one's uh, a bit different again. Um, yeah, I can't stand up straight. Nowhere near anywhere being able to stand up straight in here. Uh, I suppose it'd be all right if you're like five foot nothing. But um, yeah, in this room here, there is nowhere to stand up. It is a old cottage. We come down here, got all these glorious beams. They're lovely, look at that. There's a little bit of work doing to it. But uh, this is a private job. It's one we've been called in for. Which makes a change from all of the corporate jobs we've been having of late. And we have just basically got to clear everything out of it. I do believe that the story is that the, uh, the cottage was actually rented out and it's the renters that we're doing the clearance for. See, look at this door. You can't see it there. If I do that, see, if I stand here like this, there you go. You can see just how low these things are and it shouldn't take us too long. Well, sorry, I'm scanning around the room and you haven't really had a good chance to see what's in here. So there's an interesting chest there. It's a nice, interesting little unit there. A few other odds and sods. Here we go, through a slightly bigger door. See the nice little pram down there. So there's not a huge amount here. But there is enough, enough to keep us going. I reckon it's going to be a two day job for the two of us. Bits of a grandfather clock. The rest of that's outside in the shed somewhere. The beds are staying. So yeah, for two of us, just to get it cleared and then get it clean. Come down this way. All these odds and sods and ornaments and everything like that, that's all going. If we come through here to the kitchen, at the very back as we crouch down, see we've got a little larder store. How out of date is the food in there? Come on, let's take a guess. What should we go for? We got sweet corn, you know, that's rice pudding or some other sweet corn or the maple syrup. So what, let's go for the ambrose. Ambrosia. See, it's rusted. It's rusted. You can't even see the date on it because it's rusted. Oh my god. Uh, best before end, see can end. Y yeah, you got no chance, have you? Actually, there might be something there where you can see it on the video. I can't see it on the real light. What's that? 2014. And what are we now? 2022. So, eight years out of date. My god. Let's go for the sweet corn. What's the sweet corn? Should we eat it, do you reckon? Should we give it a go? Look at that, August 2012, London Olympics. Yeah, that's how long ago that went out of date. Yeah. Right, well there we go, so we got that to clear, and then we got the kitchen. We've got to take all the white goods, washing machine, cooker, fridge freezer, table. It's a nice table, go off to auction that will. Clear all the clutter. I think there's stuff still within there. Yeah. Right, so we're gonna crack on. And we'll cut back in in a bit and we'll show you what we've got, if anything. There might be some interesting bits and pieces kicking about. You never know what you're gonna find when you start digging. So here we go, this is the start of day number two. This is the final day on the job. And as you can see, we're in the kitchen. And things have changed a little bit in here. You can see the stuff's been done. But uh, yesterday we loaded up the van with rubbish and it was basically one van load of rubbish that went off. And today we're just doing all of the other bits. So you can see we've got various bits and pieces left out and about. Books over there, pictures, there's a model aeroplane in there. Um, bits of a grandfather clock. And we've got the long case for it, that's out in the shed, so that'll come out in a little bit. Nice desk there, it's just a shame it's got a bit of woodworm in it. Uh, see it just down in there, which is a bit of a shame. Various bits of brown furniture. Lovely camel. Okay, sorry about that, I was just in the middle of showing you some stuff and the, uh, the GoPro went flat so um yeah we lost out on it there unfortunately but there wasn't much more to see other than just the bits of brown furniture as you could see now we're pointing at the fireplace that's all clear there's a box full of paperwork the customer asked us to leave 
But other than that, the room is pretty empty. Let's go down this way. I am still crouched over. There you go. Empty cupboard. There was an Xbox in there. One of the original, uh, not the first run that had the massive controllers, but the one that came just afterwards and had the slightly smaller controllers. So yeah, bathroom's all done, look at that, eh? Still crouched down, and where should we go next? Let's go kitchen. This is a big difference, isn't it? If you think back to how this was originally, just a couple of minutes ago in the video, and now look, it does need a lot of work. There's a lot of damp, you can see where there's a lot of damp and a few other issues. It needs to be lived in, get some air through it. But half the problem is, this is the back door and you can see straight through to the outside. So it's not exactly weatherproof. It's a little larder cover. This is where all the outdated food was. That's now gone. And then if we cut back across here, being sure to crawl on our hands and knees. And then we come up here through the hobbit hole. Well, I think even Bilbo Baggins would have to duck down to get through this. Oh, into the sunroom. We actually found, um, just in the corner here, we found 200 shotgun cartridges. Uh, so they'll be handed in to the local police. You can see, look at that for a view. Absolutely lovely. Would have obviously been a garden to feed the family in years gone past. Lots of agricultural work in this area. So it would have been uh, probably farm hands or something. Originally these, there are two cottages here, so I'm told. They are semi-detached and they would have originally been three cottages, which is quite common. See, look at all this work, this wood, incredible stuff. Absolutely amazing. But yeah, so there we go, the job is complete. It has taken us, oh, what is it, a day and a half? So we've uh, cleared, we've cleaned, we got the van loaded up. So we've had one load which has gone off to auction. Uh, no, sorry, let me get this right. We've had one load which has gone off as rubbish and we've had one load which has gone off to auction. One thing that is of interest in here that you don't get to see very much of anywhere else nowadays. So nowadays, that's your electric meter and that tells you how much electricity you've been using and whatever and that's what they come through and they read. And then you've got your fuses, your main fuse board, that's all that needs to be done. And then we've got one of these, who remembers one of these? This is where your granny used to have a stack of 50 pence pieces on the side, ready to go into the meter, and then you would have the meter man who would come around once every, once every couple of months, he would break the seals, and he would take out all of the 50 pence pieces and he would count them up. So to pay for your electricity back in the olden days, this was the original prepay meter. So rather than having a card or a key or anything else like that, you'd place a 50 pence piece into there. You would then turn the handle around and it would register it. And then you'd be able to use your 50 pence worth of electricity. And this would have been the meter and this would have been how much is used. And you can see that it's had, what's that? 970 50 pence pieces inserted into it over the years. So yeah, you don't get to see these anymore because once they were ripped out, they were just ripped out and they were taken. But for some reason, this one's been left. It has had the seal broke on here and there isn't any, any money in there, I did check. Um, but yeah, a piece of history that's been lost to the sands of time. Well, half a load to auction, half a load of metal and other bits and pieces. Nothing that we're really gonna keep ourselves, nothing that we're gonna reuse. Um, so yeah. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't done so already, please do hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and until next time, bye-bye.